What is up guys, Kills in here, and welcome back to the Noxville trip. So we are right where we left off at the hospital, in the blood slash ash bath that it is. Heath is out here bright and early, 8.20 a.m. Uh, let's see, 2,646 kills, 1 month, 15 days, four, or 12 hours survived, weight as fight night at 77. Actually, before I get into this, I have to go grab some supplies here. Let me just take a quick peek. Yeah. I need to refill my lighter so that I can actually use my bombs. Where is my shoddy? Shotgun's in one of these bags, I believe. How's my lighter doing? Lighter's good now. Okay. We almost had a problem with that last episode. There's the shoddy. Uh, I put the katana away in the trailer as well as... Actually, no. I think that's it. Just, yeah, the katana in the sheath because they were about to break. Uh, I dropped my broken nightstick in the trailer as well. I'm going to put the shoddy away in here. As long as the ammo for it, I can put this on my belt. Actually, no, I, uh, I mean, am I really going to put it on the M16? It does take durability every time I put it on. So I think I'll take it off right now because I have 5.56 five, that I can still use. I don't have a lot of it, but I still have some. But I think for now, we're going to deal with the stragglers outside. Doesn't seem like there's that many, and they're kind of slow for the next 20 minutes. So we've got to get moving. Let me just see. There we go. Okay, forgot to do something, but we are good starting now. Okay, let's get it. Good on, lads. Oh, preemptive swing. There we go. We are 2-2 two, two over weight on the right side there. Because we're out of stuff with Karen, but hopefully that gets less and less as we fight. Monkey, if you can do it. I should probably be using the night stuff. It'll be quicker and use less stamina and things like that. Come on, Keith. There we are. I think all of his weapon stats are like basically around the same levels. Check that out. Yeah. They're all going to like level 5 or level 4. Very nice. I hope my right click doesn't give out on me today. I really need a new mouse, I think. This mouse has been through quite a bit. I think I've only had it for about a year, so... Uh, maybe I did something wrong with it. I just messed up the right click because how much games I play that require it. Especially this one. I like... I really put some force on the right click. Which is probably unhealthy for the mouse. So it's, it's probably my fault. Alright, come on. You have something on your leg? No, that's just weird clipping. Yeah, they are moving quicker now. Let's pop a blocker. There's noise to that now? The mod got updated, but that doesn't make sense. Usually... Actually, it does make sense. That's cool. I did not expect that. Beta blockers make this is now. I wonder what else makes noise. I think that's kind of the part of the medical meister mod. That sounds right. Hey, we got some twins here. Look at that. Gray-headed and gray-haired twins. Okay, we're gonna need some multi-hit action. We might have to switch with the gun. There we go. We have attracted quite a bunch. I don't want to use... Hmm. I guess, yeah, we use the M16 so that way I can get the shotgun out quicker. There we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, how much? 5.56? 15 left. I can fill up the mag one more time in a few. Actually, right now it might be... Oh, hold on. I see you. So, some up here. Nice, Keith. Plus one in aiming. Where am I at now? Level 5 aiming. Going to level 6 now. We've got some friends coming in. Alright, come in. Get some, get some more bullets in that dang. How did that happen? The oh, the hospital is burning. This might make job make my job easier. I did not want it to happen, but we are we gotta do what we gotta do. That's what I'll say about it. I thought I controlled it quite well, but I guess a Zed wandered off, and now the whole thing is going up. Hmm. Well, now I gotta be extra careful of everyone's side. Did I bring noisemakers? I don't know if I did. If I didn't, that's that's a bad on my part. I kind of kind of wanted to use them in this episode, just kind of throw them along the walls. 
because that should bring out Zeds. But uh, I guess Keith is the noisemaker. See, they're coming out already. There's a back parking lot as well. I don't know what's over there. There's also some secondary buildings that I haven't seen yet on the, the other side. I guess that yeah, the south side because Keith is on the north side right now. It's M16s putting on work. Okay. Take a little smoky. How we doing? We got seven rounds left, and then I can drop this M16 back off in the trunk. And then never pick it up again until we find somewhere. 556. Five, hey, that's empty. Okay. Let's run back real quick. Let's get the shotty prepared. Come on, shotty. This is where we're really going to get some kills in, I think. Okay, unequip this, please, Keith. Unequip. Put it away for now, and then unload these. I hope I can walk while doing that. I can. I still got that pitchfork I can use. We exerted already. Yeah, that makes sense from the, the weight. M16, bye-bye. For now. Probably for a long while. Okay, how can I drop my weight? Put the pipe bombs away. Those things cause fires. I don't want to cause any more fires. You're kind of close. There we go. I'm just going to leave the trunk open. Yeah, I'm probably going to just have to go loud for a while now so I can rest later. I should be able to sit somewhere. Maybe in the van might be safer. But I got some, got some visitors coming over. Hello there. Hope that thunderstorm isn't on its way. Well, it is on its way, but hopefully we've got some time. Okay, can I get a rest in real quick? I'm gonna sit on the passenger side. Just so I have a little bit more time, hopefully. Go to 10 a.m. Looks like they didn't follow me. That's nice. Okay, cool. Very nice. Water is fine. You've got meds, you've got pistol. Everything is looking handy dandy. Well, I mean, I guess we can use the pipe bombs since this place is already going up in flames. I guess we should use all the resources we have, right? That seems that seems logical. Hello, fellas. How's it going? You guys are not worth shotguns. You are not shotgun worthy. Get out of here. Hey, you stay away. Hey, no. Can't be having that. Flaming Zeds. No, no, no. Might as well top off while there's nobody here. The ashes are nice. I think, I don't know if I said it earlier, but I'm going to say it again. The ashes mean that the Zeds won't be pathfinding to corpses. There are still corpses. It didn't burn all of them, but... There's going to be a lot of ashes. And ashes means better for me. Oh yeah, the whole place is going up. The cafeteria. Somebody burned their things in the microwave. I wonder if it was cool flames or not. Maybe he's been here. That'd be funny. How's it looking? I the cafeteria actually isn't that bad right now. So we got halfway of it to go. Let's check out the back. See what's going on. I didn't expect to clear it this, this fast, but um... Seems like we went through the, the brunt of it in our first little trip down here in the last episode. Shotgun's putting in work though. Probably should save my ammo. Only got 100 shells. Seems like a lot, but you can really do some damage with it. And it'll go away quick. Before you know it, you'll be out of ammo and near death. That's a nice van. That's a, what was that, the brewery van? I think that's what that logo is. Take a look in a second. Let's see. If we can get this van, that'll be a nice little travel van. And loot van. The vans are just good for everybody, I guess. Except for tight spaces. They do not like tight spaces. This is, yeah, the distillery. This could actually have stuff. This could have bourbon. Oh, that's locked. Okay, we have to come back to that. Let's see what we can do here. There's, there's, there's a few out here. Some in the woods. That's what I'm really, really kind of worried about. Is how many are in the woods. Because you know Zomblood. If you know Zomblood, they put Zeds in the woods. 
You'll never see them until you go into the streets, but they are there. Luckily, I was smart and put a suppressor on the shotgun, so we're only, only going to attract the ones we want to attract. But I can't be wasting these shells. How are we looking? Get the pistol out. Nice. Okay. Got a visitor up there. He'll be walking over here shortly. Gonna kill who I can before he gets here. He's hopping over the fence now. Got a couple down there. More coming from the forest. It's a reload, but we got the chance. There you go, Keith. That will be what we do right now. It's just clear the perimeter. Once the perimeter is clear, we can really start moving. Oh, hello there. Is that a machete? It is. We've got a katana and a machete on this run. That's almost perfect. Okay, well, I'm going to have to replace the knife. There we go. Can I put the, mach the, not the machete, the knife on this? No. Sadly, I cannot. It might be like a trench shotgun. That you could probably go on. But this shotgun doesn't work. Can I, that, I feel like that should have hit, Keith. Like, you have some pretty good aiming. You have level 5 aiming, you should be able to hit something that close. Alright, let's fill up our mag. This place looks in, looking real nice, looking real clear. I did not mean to rack the gun. We good? We're good. Okay. Let's check out this van. See what's going on. Can't believe it's already been 10 minutes in this recording. Does not feel like it. Let's see, can I get in here? It's door open. It is. I was about to bust that thing open if I could. Hey, more leather gloves. Okay, I thought that said something different. We've got the the key. That's nice. Let's see what's in this trunk. There's some bourbon. Very nice. I could just drop this on the floor, actually. Don't need any of that. Will it run, I wonder? That's really what I want. Battery's dead. Gas is dead. But the rest of it is good. Okay. We are marking this on the map. Here we are. Van. Make it red. Make a note as well. Black so I can read it. No gas. I put zero instead of no. Take up less space. Zero gas. Zero bat. Here we go. That's a heavy duty battery. I think. Should be. I should know that. Make sure that's closed. There we go. Uh, I'll put the machete up here, actually. His Keith has more in short blade than long blunt, I think. Oh, this would be long blade then. Yeah. Okay, nice. Keith is just a master with long blade. He used it a lot in the beginning. Which came in handy for the for the for the katana. Let's do with you. I see you, Miss Headband. I guess you were you were a hospital resident. I think. I said yeah, that's a bandage. Almost that was part of our hairdo. But no, that is a bandage. Right, let's see what's going on down here. Good lord. Yeah, we're just going to have to let this place cook. I don't want to go in there and get Keith dead. That's a sentence. But yeah, I don't want to risk stepping on a fire and then Keith cooking in there. I can, I do have the stop, drop, and roll mod. So if I do get on fire, I just, I have like a, a millisecond to react to it. So I may or may not be able to live from that. But it looks like the fire is still raging on this side. I'm not going to cut through the wilderness. I'll go all the way back around. Keep it safe. Keep it secure. We might have to go check out the front. We can go check out the secondary buildings. There's a there's a quite a couple of things we can do. Let's see. I hear them munching. So they're not all aware of what's going on. This place got cooked. Munching away somewhere in here. Get the pistol out. There we go. Double tap. Two boots, two kills. Water dispenser there might fill up on my water while I'm here. They destroyed the reception. Well, the fire destroyed the reception. 
There we go. Nice. Well, let's check out the little drive through here. See what's going on out front. How much of this do I have to worry about? That's all glass. That's cool. We got a little, little plaza over here. Little bird fountain thing. All the glass is brokey. I'm guessing the fire is going to take the whole hospital. Because I don't really think it's going to stop. Unless the thunderstorm stops it. That could be something that happens. Like, who can I see? Someone's on something here. On one of the windows. Can't really see. I'll just shoot them through the window here. There we go. This is the secondary entrance, I think. Or maybe the main entrance. I'm not sure. No. Yes? Yes. This is the main entrance. Oh. Cool. We've got some more clearing to do. But they hurt that. Could chuck some bombs in here. I don't know if the bombs will actually go through the glass or not. I don't want to risk that. Could chuck some bite bombs. Really burn this place up. Because we definitely can't save it anymore. The other side of the building is on fire. I'll shoot who I can, though. I'm not going to miss that. I don't want to get too close. Shotgun time is coming up, though. Definitely. As soon as they all start moving to me. Yep, there we go. Reload Keith, just to have that on standby. Let's get to work. We're gonna need to pop another blocker. Boom. Eat lead, zombie scum. It's time for you to leave. This is Keith's world. He's gonna liberate it. One shot at a time. Ooh, you've got some... Some candidates here. We got a traffic jam down there. Spiffos. Oh, yeah. Okay, is that a... It's a water truck. How does this... Me and Cool Flames found one of these. In... Actually, that episode isn't out yet. That'll be out on Wednesday. I don't know if I showed it or not. I might have carted it out. But we did find one of these trucks. And I'm wondering, how does it work? I might have to go into the, the hood to see. That's usually where the hidden stuff is. See if I can actually put stuff in that in that water container. Because the trunk has like 12 space, so it's not it's not a storage vehicle for for solids. But for liquids, I'm not too sure. It might work. It might not. Who knows? I hope they modded that in. Because if they did, that'd be cool. Also, see another trailer down there. So if anything, we can grab the van, the distillery van, and then grab that trailer, and we can have a whole new kit right there ready to go. For a road trip. I see another crowbar here, though. Thank you. Very nice. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's going on here. It has no hood, or no top. That's pretty cool. How does this work? Cab cover. Battery and gas are gone. Water tank. I don't know how that works, I'm gonna be real. If anybody knows, let me know down in the comments, but other than that, I'm not too sure. Might have to go to the actual mod page for that, but this car right here, looking sick, looking real nice. Of course, we got lots of vans as well to choose from if you want them. Hello there. A little double tap there. Let's see, what is this? Let me in. Uh, no key. That's fine. Could also be on the floor somewhere. 58 space. That's about right for a car like this. Is a key on the floor somewhere? Nope. Okay. Look in the hood. See what's going on. No gas, no battery. Engine's kind of shot. Uh, well. It's here if we want it later. We'll repair it. But right now, we ain't looking for th nothing like that. Looks like they're chowing down already. Let's see, what bombs do I have? 
I've got the I got the one pipe bomb. I could go inside real quick, chuck that in, see what happens after that. Hello, fellas. Good to see you. Time to die. Reload. I'm using the wrong menu for reloading. Come on, then. I saw that outline. Give it back to me. Why don't I just shoot your friends instead? I messed up. I don't know why you can't do this. You can't shoot through the board. There we go. You have a super kill there, I think. It's you as well. Reload. We got 41 rounds left. Didn't kill you. You're still up. Can't exactly hit you though. There we go. And if you don't know, hold alt if you're trying to hit something on or hit a Z on the floor. It'll automatically put you into the shooting down position or hitting down position when you swing or shoot. Pro tip. Helps you out in a pinch. Hello. I gotta repack my mags. Take them around for a little shawl. I'm being smart today. I'm not going to be dumb and just head in there. Try to take it easy. We've got plenty of time to do this. We're not we're not on our time time schedule or refraining or nothing. We're just we're just here to clear it out. The common collective. I'm loving the new sounds. That is so cool. Like I'm like I'm playing Tarkov. Uh, you survived. Look at you. Lucky fella, you get the crowbar to the head treatment. There you go. Alright, we pack these mags, Keith. Last mag, I think, right now. Seven bullets, yep. Alright, this is it for the Glock. Until we find more 9mm. They are all on those windows. Yeah. Oh, we got rain. Look at that. Clean up the blood. Give me more frames. I appreciate it. I went the shotgun on that door. Thank you. No, oh, jams. Come on. Why does it keep doing that? Alright, one last bullet. Goes to you, sir. Give me that shotgun. Bye bye. M500, another nightstick. Nice. Got the machete. This is a weapon I am confident in using. Is it can multi hit, I think, from what I remember. Okay, unless I'm stupid and I die right here, but we're fine. Everything's good. There we are. And a bunk. Okay, that's more of a shink, but we'll go with bunk. Get the shotty out there, but I break something down. There goes the door. Keep my phone from the from the skies too, the balconies on the second floor or whatever. Reload where I got a chance. They got the boards down. Okay. That's another point of entry for them. A point of exit, I should say. It's a point of entry for Keith, but... We've got doors right here, so I don't think I'm gonna use them. Unless we have to. Like an emergency. Oh, I got him while he was falling. That was cool. And this place is just a bloodbath, and I love it. There's a spear in that, nurse. Goodbye. They are coming from upstairs, though. That is kind of a worry. We are running low on shoddy shells. We switch over to the machete. There we go. So at least a one on that three board right in front of Keith there. Might be two now. Sounds like two. Gotta watch out for those lunges. Those will get you killed. Keith is feeling a bit peckish, but we can go on for longer. We got a few chocolate bars you can nibble on anywhere. Like I said, I'm prepared today. 
prepared as I can be. Hello, you guys. There we are. Reload while I can. And pop. You're gonna come through? Nice, thank you. We can serve it good, and there we go. Exerted. Crap. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think that, that'll be the play. We'll go back to the van, drop some stuff up that we don't need anymore. Like the, the Glock and things. Unless you gotta see the shotgun shells and these other shotgun. We've got a military knife. That's nice. Alright, let's start backing off. Uh, other shotgun. There are shells. I'll note that. Never mind, that's gonna take four years to do. And we do a little bit of this. Very nice. Keep backing up. First comes a shove, we'll just light this place up with fire. If we run out of ammo, which we definitely will. We are gonna need to go on a resupply mission someday. Which I do have one spot we gotta go to. That that big old ship. But still, something we gotta do. We might just have to skip over a few times. Or towns. To get there. That'll be the, the hard part. Is getting there. Clearing it, probably also hard. But we've got grenades and things. We can stockpile. Alright, we gotta get back to the van. Was I just realized there's benches all over this. So we can actually rest up here. If we need to. Hold on. Make sure you're not gonna lunge at me. Thank you. For being kind, Zeds. Kind to Keith. There we are. Don't lunge. Thank you. I use coffee for exertion. I gotta kill these two. Thank you. This machete might break sooner than I anticipated. Doesn't seem to want to last that long. Okay, let's head back now. I wonder if the, the rain clears up ash. I think it does. I think I think I have that, that option ticked on. Let's see. Yeah, I just saw one disappear there, I think. I think it just takes a while because this is only light rain. This might be the beginning of the thunderstorm. Now that I think about it. Wait, how are we looking? Any new fellas want to show up? No, nice. Okay, good. So we'd like to see. Okay, let's see. Put that away. Thank you. Put this away. Put the bourbon away. The shotgun we have to unload. Go where I can go away. Put the mags away. Bayonet can go. Uh, we save the chocolate. Then we're gonna unload this. Got the racket as well. There we go. Put those in the belt now that I have room. There we are. Uh, what is that? That's just a holster. Okay, what else? Can do nothing with that. Military knife. We can keep that. Or could I use this? No. Okay, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Nice. Okay, well. We are approaching the 30 minute mark, so I will at the end of this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I have. We are definitely going to continue our adventures in the next episode. But uh, yeah, if you want, if you like this type of stuff and you want to see more, make sure you hit that like button down below. And consider subscribing as well. It is free. You can subscribe whenever. And I hope to see you in the next video. Peace.